Hi, I'm Andrew Shovlin, I'm Trackside Engineering Director and I essentially run the Trackside Group trying to get the most performance out of the car at the race. The new regulation changes for 2022 completely changed the way that the car's aerodynamics work but the impact on us was it completely changed how you needed to run the cars, how you needed to develop the cars and the whole aerodynamic structures have changed so there's been a lot of work trying to understand where the performance in these regulations is going to come from and how we optimise the car itself. When we launched the car and in particular when we were doing the pre-season testing uh, we realised the scale of the problem that, that we were faced with and we had a car that you couldn't really race in any, in, in any sensible way. It was unstable on the track, it was very difficult for the drivers in braking zones. Uh, we couldn't actually get our hands on the performance that we designed into it. So it then became a race against time. Not the normal development challenge, but this was how quickly could we understand this problem, get to grips with the mechanisms and develop it out of the car. So to understand that, we're running millions of simulations across aerodynamics, vehicle dynamics, across the system side, looking at the car cooling, trying to work out what is the best overall compromise, what is the fastest overall race car. And in order to do that, we can share the data of all of those simulations using the TIBCO Spotfire analytics across the whole site. It makes it very quick, very efficient for the different groups to discuss these, to look at those trades and those compromises and home in on the optimum solution overall. During a season, each race is different, each race presents different challenges and you need to run the car in a different way. These tools are allowing us both to optimise for the small scale of a single race weekend, but also the much broader scale over a whole range of tracks from Monaco all the way to Miami, very different challenges and that allows us to ultimately put the best car on the track that we can. And that's where TIBCO's tools do give Mercedes an advantage because the speed that you can analyse and visualise means the faster that you can actually learn, the faster that you can home in on that optimum setup. The challenge at the start of the season was very much trying to get the porpoising under control, allow us to run the car where we actually designed it to run, so close to the ground, without any of the downsides of the bouncing and the disruption for the driver. And the progress on that goal has been good. We're now getting to a stage where there isn't much more to find and the challenge shifts to one of incremental development. And how can we understand these regulations which carry on through to next season, the season beyond? Where is going to be the performance that we can develop onto the car? Where are the opportunities? And how can we optimise what we've got to get that incremental development? because success in Formula One is very much about development rate and having a development rate faster than your competitors. And if we can achieve that, then we'll be in a position to win races, win championships in the future.